Hello, hi everyone. Thank you for watching my video on how to install Scilab and what is Scilab programming. Okay, the first step we want to do is go to uh, Google Chrome or Mozilla or any um, platform for you to search Scilab to Scilab. Okay, so you appear at this website. So click on that. And this is Scilab 6.1.1. This is the latest version of Scilab. The uh, other version as well. So I wanted to choose the, this version, Scilab 6.1.1. Choose your operating system. Okay, so mine is Windows 10, so I'm in 64 bits, so I'm going to choose this one. Okay, so it's downloading. So we'll just wait for Scilab to download. Usually it will not take that long. Okay, but uh, meanwhile, while uh, waiting for it to download, look at this website. Okay, this is the Scilab uh, website. You can see that there are some tutorials, there are some application of Scilab involved here. And uh, some, uh, if you have any problem, you can search to the community, see. Okay, so I'm interested in this uh, tutorial here. So if I look at this tutorial, uh, these are some of the topics that uh, people can use Scilab programming. Okay, obviously, I am interested in numerical analysis. So if you click on numerical analysis, they have given some simple code or explanation about some of the topics. So this is interesting, coronavirus spread modeling, uh, wind speed analysis, drug epidemic tutorial, and you also have uh, numerical analysis using Scilab, error analysis, how to solve nonlinear equation, and whatever you want to browse, you can just browse through. Okay, this is very important for you to just go through the module, um, the notes given here. Okay, my Scilab has uh, completed the download, then double click to, to open the Scilab. Just wait for a while while it opens. The installation is not complicated, so just follow whatever instruction is given. Okay. Let me, yep, yeah, there you go. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Now we'll wait. Okay, choose the language. I'm going to choose English. Okay. And then next. Accept the agreement. Next, this is the folder where you want to install. If you have a different drive, you can choose, but I'm just going to leave it like that. And please choose full installation. Okay, so everything is ticked except some of them. Leave leave the unticked one as it is. Okay, we don't need that. Okay, and, and please see that the current selection requires at least 554.4 megabyte of this space. So I hope you have this amount of this space in your drive okay so uh this is a folder so the name is scilab 6.1.1 and i want to create it shortcut in the start menu okay next yes everything i needed it okay next install okay so this is a very simple uh installation process as long you follow Whatever steps being shown here in this video, you should be able to install Scilab in your machine. Okay, so usually the installation is very fast. Okay, so maybe less than a minute or two. So we'll just wait for the installation. So in this video, um, I also want to introduce you to uh, Scilab, not just installation, but um. Why do you need Scilab? Why Scilab needed to solve difficult problem? Okay, I'm using Scilab to teach numerical methods. Okay, so if you are taking numerical method cards, you need a software that can help you to solve some problems that you'll be learning in your numerical method courses. Okay, so um, I'm just going to show you some of the um, interface, some of the, uh, you know, how, how Scilab looks like when you open 
practical grammar. Okay, so while waiting for this to uh, complete, so let me just uh, look at this again. So let's look at another um, topic here, education maybe. So what do we have here? Okay, if you look at here, they have programming in Scilab. So in Scilab for beginner tutorial. So yeah, there are quite um, some notes here available for you to browse. Let's look at Scilab for beginners tutorial. Mm, this is very good. Okay, become familiar with Scilab. So just that's the first part, and then some of the variable that you needed to use, some of the plotting, useful functions. Okay, so yeah, and you see that you can. Uh, they also give how to I mean, where you can download. Okay, so yeah, if you want to do more, you can just browse through this thing. Okay, my installation completed. Launch, Scilab, finish. Okay, so let's wait for the Scilab to appear because we have click launch. It's gonna, so if you look at here on my windows here, I have the shortcut. Okay. Okay, so this is what appears to me. Okay, usually, uh, I'm gonna close this. Okay, yeah, this is the console window. Okay, this is the console window. Now, since I have um, deleted my, I mean, I've installed and uninstalled Scilab many, many times. Okay, my setting probably not similar with what you have right now. Okay, so if you have a different uh, setting, don't worry. Maybe you have a history on the side, or maybe you have um, some other. Thing. Let me just uh, see if I can back to the normal. Mm, just give me a second. I'm just gonna see how do I set it back to the original. Mm. Okay, that's. Um, hi, show, Toba. Okay, so I don't know at this moment. I can't see them, but um, if you like, like I say, if you have a different setting, doesn't matter. You can just close the whatever uh setting like his like if you have on this top right here. If you have history or any other thing, you can just close that. Press the X button and close it. So this is a console window. Okay, the console interface window, and you have the menu button here. So execute file is Control E, and uh, you can just read this one. Okay, and look at look at this um part here. So let's let's focus on this thing first. So it says here where you uh install. Your Scilab here. So this window will act like your um, calculator actually. Okay, so if I want to write a statement, I, I need a double quotation. Now write hello, welcome to Scilab. Close quotation. Okay, say answer. Okay, so there's a there's a there's a difference between using the quotation and not using quotation. What happens if I don't have the quotation? So I'm not using the quotation here. Undefined variable hello. You see that? There's an error here. So any statement you need to have the quotation mark. Okay, so that's a simple thing. And also this this um platform here I can also use to find some mathematic expression okay now I want to clear the screen because I'm using a very big font and you probably cannot see whatever I'm writing at here so to clear the screen uh let this see here clear console you can you can choose that or you can type clc 
enter that's to clear your console clear your screen the windows okay now let me just show you what else it can do what else it can do okay so simple mathematics operation like arithmetic expression you can use that for example 12 divided by 1 plus 4 okay or if you want to do a multiplication 12 times by 5 plus 30 45 let's see see the operation division okay and you have multiplication of course you can do addition you can do subtraction and if you want to do power raised to the power okay there are uh, two ways to do that so let's say power i can use a power command here on your keyboard to power of two okay this is power or i can use two i think so this one okay this is also raised to power two raised to the power of two Okay, this is a command now how can i know all these things so you have to uh, go to google search for scilab for beginners or tutorial for scilab okay and uh, these are some arithmetic operators that you can use now there are also uh, you can also use scilab to find mathematical function okay for example cos zero 6 times sine pi over 2 okay to use pi you need a percent percent pi over 2 okay to use some of these uh, variables you need percent okay let me just show you again percent pi okay uh euler constant number percent e okay or uh, imaginary percent i Okay, these are some of the uh, mathematical uh, variables. And also, uh, what about some Boolean operator? Okay, if I have a Boolean operator, let me just clear my screen again. Okay, so I have a logical, okay, true or false. So, A equals to percent T. T for true. Okay, B equals to zero is is zero equal equal one okay the statement should be false okay because zero is not equal equal one okay so false here okay what about greater or less so we can we can just we can also use that now i did say that we can also display statement or or string so usually uh you use a string let's say something like this x equals to i'm gonna just clear my screen clc for clear screen let's say s equals to input allow you to enter the number enter a positive number for example Okay, remember, if you have a statement, you need a quotation. Okay, a statement. Input here allows you to key in the number. Okay, for example, enter positive number. Okay, five. I mean four. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I, I look. If you, if I, if I use the uh, on the keyboard, the arrow up, I can actually uh, search through whatever I've written. Now, obviously, I need a space here. Okay, enter a positive number. Okay, now. Any positive number, 7. Okay, this is a simple statement and using an input file for you to enter. Okay, so um, I'm not going to go further, but uh, maybe on my next video, I can uh, show you a little bit more about Scilab. Okay, so for now, enjoy installing Scilab and just uh, browse through whatever you have to uh, search using Scilab. Bye for now.